Good afternoon, welcome back. So we're just gonna do this boxing video of the Princeton Chorus 2x10. Uh, it's going somewhere down south. I'm not sure I have to look again, but anyways. First thing I did was triple up this hard cell foam. So if it gets set down really hard or rough, the wheels, they have a little bit of space yet before they even hit this, and if they do, uh, all the pressure is going to be on all this solid foam underneath of the uh, amplifier there. So these aren't gonna take a hit at all. And if they do, they're gonna squish into this before anything else. So that's what I do to try to uh, keep the wheels from getting busted off. And then I always pre-cut corners for the box. So what we're gonna do now is, normally you would put this on wrap it and then tape it on but for video purposes we sped some things up and pre got pre-made things there we go that's how you know you're pulling tight enough <laughs> all right so there is like three layers of bubble wrap on that and then you just got to get it down in the box did that just fall off? It did. Oh, I'll have to set that in there first. Didn't think it would stay. But you see how it gonna, it's going to sit on there and the wheels on each side of it. Alright. Here we go. So now I got to get my corners in. If they'll fit, I might have overdone it. Yeah, it's very possible I overdid it. Yep. All right. Well, I got so much bubble wrap on it. I don't think I'm going to need corners. But what I will do is for protection on the front of the amplifier. We'll put a sheet of foam, hard foam, in front of it and behind it. There. Now it has some impact resistant foam in the front and back. And I'm going to go ahead and try and squeeze a piece down each end. And then I will put a piece over the top before I put the lid on and secure it. So there it is, you guys, in a nutshell, how I pack amps. Um, if I'd have went a little less on the bubble wrap, I'd have got the corners in. But there's plenty of bubble wrap on that. So that's how you're gonna to wanna to pack an amp. Make sure there's plenty of hard foam underneath of it. So if it takes an impact, it's not breaking the wheels or smashing the cabinet, even if you don't have wheels. And then try to get as much uh, hard padding you can in between the amplifier and the box. And bubble wrap is always good because you have something that will give and squish where the hard cell foam does do that, but it's a uh, little less forgiving so you need a combination of both so that's how i ship out amplifiers so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next amp project good evening welcome back so you guys seen me box this pig up now it's time to weigh it and get the uh, shipping label on it so take a guess of how much that amp weighs so the same thing that is right here, only I retolexed it in a different color cloth with a wheat grill and I changed the speakers, did some other work to it, but that is what is in this box here and that I just finished boxing up at my shop. We got 43 pounds. So I've already got the uh, length, width, and height wrote down up there. 
So all I gotta do now is type all that stuff into my reverb, hit print, and done. But uh, there's the final product I figured. At least let you guys see it. It looks like a big giant eBay gift wrap package. There's several rolls of eBay tape on that for sure. So uh, there you guys go. Uh, that's the end of the boxing on that. So if that, you want to know how to properly uh, package an amp, if you watch this video, that's how you do it. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next amplifier project uh, that's coming up. Thank you.